Hello everybody and welcome to Working Title Productions. My name is Ben, his name is Ed and we're here to bring you another episode of Movie Talking About Long Long Last. We're bringing you a review on an Oscar nominated film, Best Picture nominated film, yeah. and that movie would be Hidden Figures. Um, we finally got a chance to see it, you know, we kind of, we had to review it, didn't we? Um, could have talked about a topic, but it's a movie I want to talk about. Right. Ed, not so much. No, I'm, I'm happy to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Just because just I thought there were issues with it doesn't mean I don't want to talk about it. We reviewed I Girl mean, on the I Train. Know. Ed, it was me creating a gateway for you to talk about the issues. Because I know you want to talk about it. Because well, we're here sitting on the start. couch. I don't know. Say the best or last? No, I, I like to bring the positives forward for right. first. Do you want to bring the positive forwards first then? Sure. Thanks, Ben. Um, the best host ever. Anyway. Um, so, right off the bat, um, all the performances in this movie are absolutely rock solid, um, and along with that, the movie is relatively well paced along with the story of what's actually happening in terms of the space race, the way that that whole conflict, inverted commas, like, it's not, it's not the world of, I mean... It was at the time. We look back yeah. at it, it seems pretty silly, but it definitely was at the time. Yeah, it, like, it's, it's important to the movie, but it's certainly not the focus, and the way that moves along with what's happening with the, our three main characters works really well. Um, and yeah, and then like I said, performances rock solid from everyone pretty much. Lots of big names as well, and they all yeah. bring their A-game. Definitely. So. Um, certainly like the three main leads, you know, they do an excellent job. But what really surprised me is that I don't know the actor's name, but the guy that plays Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory... Jim Parsons. Movie. Jim Parsons, thank you. No problem. And I just saw him in the trailer, I'm like, this is going to be so out of place. I'm not going to be able to deal with Sheldon being in Hidden Figures. But to his credit, you know... Really good. He, yeah, he dissolves into the movie. You know, you don't see Sheldon, you see... Um, oh, what's his name? Character name, character name, character name. Paul Stafford. Stafford, that's it. Stafford. Yeah. There's Stafford? a T in there. Oh, there is. You think I would have noticed that after all the times they punched in the typewriter? Yeah, you would think so. Apparently not. He's excellent as well. Um, I don't even know how to say it. Taraji? Yeah, what, Taraji P. Henson? Yeah, Taraji P. Henson. I think that's how you say Taraji P. Henson, yeah, yeah, she's excellent. Octavia Spencer, excellent as always. I don't think I've seen her do anything bad yet. She's really good in the help. Yeah. Really good in the help. Uh, Janelle... I think it's Monet. I don't know how to say that last name. I apologize. That's a pretty good shot. Janelle Monet, uh, she does an excellent job as well. Kevin, good. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner yeah. is really Strikes good again. in this movie. Yeah. Really good in this movie. Um, I wish I could say more about Janelle Monet and Taraji um, P. Henson other than just they're really good in this movie. But the reality is I haven't seen them in anything else. Um, Octavia Spencer, as you reminded me, she's in The Help. She does an excellent job again. Um, all of these women, you know, they really carry this movie on their shoulders. Um, and it really is impressive how well they act when you consider, Ed, as you rightfully pointed out to me, that the characters don't really learn anything and there isn't really an obstacle that they can't immediately defeat. Mm. So yeah. it really comes down to their performances and their ability to be likeable and charismatic that we really engage with them. And I think they do a really good job yeah, doing it. I agree. Like, they're certainly not weak characters. Like, they're interesting and their lives are interesting. Yeah. And the way they react to the situations around them, especially um, Mary Jackson, played by Janelle Monae. Yeah. The way that she's reacting, because we kind of see the civil rights movement through the lens of her eyes more than anyone else's, and the yeah. way that's done is really interesting. Um... But yeah, so they're not weak characters, they just can't do anything wrong in the movie, which is kind of annoying. Um, sort of Mary Sue's. It's not... It doesn't get in the way of the experience. Yeah. But it is odd. Yeah, I agree. Like It's hard to pinpoint the purpose. Yeah, there are, no, there are no character flaws, and all of the obstacles they face are external, and nothing comes from internal. Like, they're just like, oh, this is a thing, let's just deal with it in the I next mean, five minutes. So. Yeah, like... Janelle Monae as Mary Jackson sort of has... Does her husband count as an internal conflict? Even then, it's resolved pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. That's because it's not really dwelt on. True. That is, like, the one blinding... 
Yeah, it is a flaw. The one blinding flaw with the movie, mm. it's that they, they don't really learn anything, you know. In that sense, your main characters have nothing to really um, present to you as an audience. And I don't know, it's interesting. I'd be fascinated to see what this is like on a second viewing, but at the same time, money is precious. Yeah, I also <laughs> don't really feel like I need to see it a second time. Yeah. Yeah. The rewatchability may not be there. That said, what this film does do, which is what a lot of films can't really do, and that is it sort of cuts out the middleman about having the main characters learn something to teach the audience, and the movie just straight up teaches the audience. And as an audience member, you won't be bored. Like, we, we just dwelt on this big floor, but it doesn't actually hinder the movie much at all. The movie is still excellent. You can get over this quite easily and really enjoy what there is to learn from this movie because this is a movie about overcoming um, sexual oppression, it's racial oppression, you know, it's about cooperating as a team. Uh, And they're a conspirator, I suppose. Certainly, you know, overcoming communism and beating the Sputniks to the moon. Gotta do that. Now, you did say sexual oppression. I think you mean gender oppression. Yeah, I know. It completely left me. I'm sorry. Okay. I just want to, as in, like, just a disclaimer. Mm, is yeah, a disclaimer. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... No, was not quite the right word. No, it wasn't. You were close, I'm, though. I'm still waking up. I'm sorry. Look, the movie does an excellent job pacing-wise, I feel like. It's very good pacing-wise. It sort yeah, of comes to a boil really well. Um... The directing is good. Who's the director? Is it? Ooh, that's Sorry. a good question. I I'm making you no blame for it a lot. Um, Theodore Melfi. Theodore Melfi. Who I have no idea who this guy is. Is but he did a really good job. What, ironically? <laughs> um, <laughs> hey man, you got to tell a story. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Feature second films. feature film, excellent attempt at a second feature film. Um, does an excellent job. The movie is up for the Academy Award for Best Picture. I don't know, Ed, that it necessarily deserves to win I Best think it will Picture. Win. Um, when you've not, got, not when you, when you've got things like Hacksaw Ridge and La La yeah. Land and even Hello High Water, which I've heard is really good. Yeah, which we still like fences haven't got here. And things like Fences that I've heard is really good. Like, I don't see this one. True. Yeah. But it is an excellent film. And... You know, if you've got nothing else to do this week, absolutely go see Hidden Figures. It is a wonderful movie. It has a lot to teach people. It's a great history lesson. This is like, people say, the story you never knew about Blank. And I'm like, ah, actually, I did know this story. Thank you. And then here, the story you didn't know behind the space race. I'm like, oh, I actually didn't know this story. This is really interesting. Um, Just that's you really like space as well. True. It's where a lot of the uh, upfront appeal for the movie comes from, and it certainly delivers on that front. It's a wonderful story. It's very interesting. The actors are all amazing in this movie. The direction is great. The pacing is incredible. Uh, Yeah. I strongly recommend you go see this movie. Something I've been saying a lot lately, but it's been nice to be able to say it consistently. 2017 has kicked off much better than 2016 did. Mm. Um... Crap, what was I going to say? Um, it's got, like, okay, a, a really, like, kind of, like, poppy and, like, fun soundtrack, so, and, which really helps to keep That's it, like, kind of lighthearted as well. Um, so, yeah, but, but then it does nail the serious bits as well when it needs to. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching our review, guys. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like that, you can hit that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. We have a Facebook page you can check out, which we've kind of left dormant for a long time, let's be real. I mean... But... We promise to bring more stuff back to that. You can also check us out on Twitter. Feel free to hit us up. I will happily tweet you. Ed will happily tweet you as well. Oh, at BenchWaters01, at Edward Noack. Uh, you know, if you want to share that video, we greatly appreciate it. Of course, you know, you don't have to because it's a free world. Um, do we want to tell them about what we're reviewing in the next few weeks, give or take? Want to talk about that? Risky boost, but let's give it a shot. It gives, it makes us accountable to um, you so as an audience. We do need to see Patriots Day. That's showing at our local for probably the next week or so before it, before it goes. Silence and Manchester by the Sea are both out here, but not at our local cinema. Logan and Jasper Jones come out in two weeks. Two weeks? Yep, Thursday week. 
Did you say Jasper Jones or Jessica Jones? Jasper Jones. I thought you said Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is not a movie. No, I'm aware. And then so. Kong Skull Island the week after. <gasps> Kong Skull Island comes out that soon? Yep, much not. That's mate. exciting. At least for me, I love monster movies. Oh, I know you I know you don't. Not overly. You're not keen on it. Um, and I, I don't even think I've seen all, 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 the, the, all of the Peter Jackson ones, so... That's because the Peter Jackson one is boring and slow. Um, and then Space Between Us, which looks really interesting. Not sure how it'll turn out. Comes out in a few weeks. I've heard it's actually really bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, which and sucks, because the premise is cool. And then Beauty and the Beast in about a month. Ghost in the Shell and Lego Batman. Oh, my after. God. March is going to be a good month. Yeah, and... March is a top month. 2017 is looking so much better than 2016. To be fair though, there were a lot of movies that should have been great and flopped in 2016. So yeah. hopefully 2017 delivers where 2016 left empty promises. Mm. But until then, all I can say is thank you so much for watching guys and until next time, have a good one.